What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So look, President Joe Biden has now extended the bill aimed at helping crack down on people who committed fraud for pandemic relief funds, right? He's basically, simply put, Joe Biden is trying to get everybody who committed the PPP loan fraud to get thrown in a big house. Seriously, he's trying to get everybody who committed this loan fraud to serve the consequences for their actions. And PP and everybody, this is a thing too. In Chicago, I know a lot of people who got the PPP loan. A lot of people who got it. Um, and I'm not talking about just people who were uh, living in poverty, so on and so forth. I'm talking about people who had well-paying jobs. In fact, recently, 16 employees of Chicago Housing Authority were fired for basically they found out they committed the PPP, the PPP loan fraud and they basically let them go. And there was also about to be a 17th person who was going to be fired, but that person quit before they could be fired. They resigned before they could be fired from the job, basically, before all the things, before all the due diligence could come down. That 17th person was suspected of being a person who committed the loan fraud, and they themselves just resigned before they could be fired, right? And it's crazy, man. This is like a subject because like, again, I know people who have, you know, committed the PPP loan fraud, but I believe the PPP loan itself was entrapment at its finest because it was just so odd to me that the government made this money, like getting this money so accessible to people who were faking LLCs, who had fake LLCs and fake businesses. And they were allowed to get a large, like large sums of money. And I'm like, how is it this easy for people to just get large sums of money? It just didn't add up to me. I'm like, they're making it this easy for people, regular folks in the hood, like, you know what I'm saying, our common people just going and getting 20000 40000 it just, it seems strange to me. So I'm looking like, this got to be a trap somehow, some way. They trying to figure out during this time who is going to commit fraud so we can throw you under the big house. And it seems to be that is the case. But what let me know even more that I felt like it was some, it was some suspicious stuff going on was that there were people with legitimate small businesses who found it hard to get those same loans, right? So you had people with fake businesses, fake LLCs who were getting the who were getting the money simply, quick, fast, and easy, right? And then you had people who had legitimate businesses struggling to get relief, relief for their company, you know. And I know a lot of it was a lot of black folks who whose businesses got shut down because they couldn't get relief for money for their real business because people with fake LLCs got the money instead. And I'm like, nah, bro, if you got a real business and you can show it, why aren't you able to get these? Why aren't you able to get the loan? Why are you? Why isn't it super easy for you to get it? And I'm not saying that everybody with a real business didn't get it, but there were people who had legitimate businesses who were struggling to get it or didn't get it. And they lost like basically their businesses, their businesses went down the drain. Right. And again, I feel like all of this was entrapment. Y'all ever seen the show Bay Car? Right. It was a show where people would make a scenario where a person would leave a car that was running with the keys in the car. They would leave the car in the hood somewhere. Right. And then everybody would see the person leave the car and there were people who would get there would be people who would get in the car and drive off. So on and so forth. Right. One time I remember they was in Chicago. They was on 64th over there on King Drive. Right. In O Block. They set out. They set a car out outside full of like Jordans and shoes all in the trunk had the trunk wide open with the keys in the ignition and they set up they set up a scenario where the car would where everybody could see the car being left there and everybody could see that there was a whole bunch of shoes in the car and of course all them kids in the hood ran and got them shoes up out of there and took them for themselves and some of the, and one of the kids tried to drive the car off right and it was entrapment like they were basically trying to get people like in jail trying to prosecute people trying to get them in jail and it's like trying to set up a way to do that Right. And of course, the government, they can do whatever they want to do uh, for the most part. So I feel like, man, it just for it was like a thing. Everybody was advertising it in the hood. And I'm looking like it's just too easy for everybody in the hood to get this money. I'm like, I'm scratching my head at this. Like, no, there's no way the government is making it this easy for like folks that like folks that they don't never want to have money like that in the first place. to just get it, you know. Um, now, the question is, do I feel bad? For people who com who are about to be held responsible for the fraud they committed. Do I feel bad for the people who are going to be held responsible? And that answer is half and half for me, right? I feel bad for people who use the money to keep a roof over their head and keep their bills paid and take care of their children, 
right? Because the government be doing folks dirty all the damn time and they get away with it scot like they get away scot free. They get they do they do people dirty all the time and they get away with it, right? But I knew during this, I know during this time where we had, you know, COVID, people was trying to get COVID uh where people were excuse me, when COVID was running rampant when it first came about, a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people got laid off. People in my family got laid off, right? People lost their jobs. People couldn't pay rent. People had to move in with family members, move in with close friends. It was a difficult time for real, right? Because at that time, a lot of these jobs were not equipped to go remote. And so they're like, okay, y'all can't come in here. We got to let you go. You go, you go, you go, you go. And these people have families. They have children. They had children that were in school. People try to have. To, people were trying to figure things out. People were trying to find babysitters for their kids so they can stay at home because the learning went to remote learning. And some people, both parents work. So I was like, I got to hire a babysitter to come watch my kid. I'm not making that much money right now. It was just a hard time for a lot of people. So I understand people. You know, I feel people that's like, man, what am I going to do? I don't have no money to do this, do that. I don't have money to keep a roof, roof over my head and keep, you know, my kid in the in good conditions to live. And so they got the, P, the PPP loan. And you know what? I, I felt them on that. Like, you know, I couldn't do it because I just know, like, man, I, I couldn't get in trouble for it. I just like, man, I, I can't risk nothing like that. I can't go to jail for nothing like that. I can't be locked up for my children. But at the same time. You know, I know people who were like, man, what am I going to do? My kids got to eat. We don't, I don't have no job. You know, um, the job that's trying to hire, they're not paying enough for me to keep these bills paid. What am I to do to take care of my kids? And I feel bad for people like that. I really, really do, man. A lot of people lost their homes. A lot of people had to leave. Like, had to leave. Like, they couldn't pay rent no more in a spot that they really, really loved. They loved their house where they was renting and stuff like that. And they had to, like, they had to let it go. Because they just didn't have the funds anymore. So it was a very difficult time in America, without question. Still a difficult time with the inflation going on right now, right? So I feel bad for those people. However, I don't feel bad for the people who bought luxury luxury vehicles, people who was making it rain in the strip club, and people who was using the money to stunt on everybody in the hood. Like they using the PPP loan money to stunt on everybody on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, on, on Snapchat. Stunning with the money. I'm talking about talking big boy talk in the captions. Talking about how they shitting on everybody in the hood and on the block. I ain't like that at all. I was just like, come on, fam. That ain't the way to do it. I ain't. I, I wasn't feeling that. Like trying to just stunt on the common man, the working class man. Y'all can work for them people all y'all want to. I'm getting this real bread. It's like, fam. Nah, bro. Some people just didn't want to risk going to jail. Like they got a family. They got to take care of. They are the providers for their family. Family. They couldn't risk that, right? But then I know it's people who really risk or they really did risk it because they were trying to have a better life for their kids and their family because, shoot, they lost their job. They were just trying to maintain a, a lifestyle that they could, you know, for their kids to try to maintain some type of normalcy. Just imagine if you lost your job and you got two, three kids or even just one kid. Right. You can't pay for the regular things that they're used to getting. Can't keep the Internet on. You can't sure you can't even keep um, the gas on. You, you know, you're struggling to pay the light bill. You're struggling to, um, you know, it just, I'm excuse me, struggling to like do every regular, regular everyday things or things that you do on a weekend with your child. Normally, you can't go to the park. You can't go to the aquarium. You can't go to um, the arcade anymore because you just don't have no money. You know, you, you can't keep like, again, keep lights on. You can't buy them any new clothes for school because you just are, you, you don't have a job. And so I feel people on that, you know, but then it's people that I know that didn't even need it. It was just using it to stunt or using it to floss. So people who didn't have the money, but they just wanted to floss and stunt on everybody in the hood. And that's just something I don't respect, right? Especially when you, that ain't your bread. You just trying to stunt on everybody. You talking big boy talk, trying to just down everybody that's in your neighborhood. That's, work, that's the working class people, right? But yeah, man, um, I feel half and half, man. I feel, I feel sympathetic for those for half. And for others, I, I don't. And then I just think about all the people who lost their businesses because they couldn't get the funds. And then you got people that were just trying to stunt who got the funds. And I'm looking like, man, it could have went to them people who really had, were their business. Their business was in need and their business went down the drain because they couldn't get any relief because the folks that wanted to stunt so bad and wanted to act like rappers, they got all, they got all the funds and, you know, basically just threw it down the drain, you know? 
Um, but you know what? I'm going to say this too, because it's something that's crazy. It's boggling my mind. It has absolutely nothing to do with this topic, but it's just leading into the leading into the Britney Griner situation. Because I see so many people on my social media from the hood, from the blocks that I grew up on, clowning Britney Griner, talking about they don't feel bad for her. That's what she get, making jokes about her, clowning her out. I'm talking about making jokes every way possible. Like, especially like the drug dealing dudes in the hood clowning us on and so forth and all this and all of that, right? And the crazy thing about it is the same people in the hood, in the hood laughing at Britney Griner, saying they don't feel bad for her. They they the same people that don't want to go to jail for the PPP loan fraud they committed. The same people clowning Britney Griner talking about they don't feel bad for her, that's what she get. They're the same people that's gonna be begging and pleading not to go to jail for the PPP loan fraud. They're the same people that don't want to go to jail for that. So it's like, bro, this is a crazy world we living in. Like, cause how you gonna try to say, oh, that woman don't need to be free? That's what she get. But when them people try to come for you, you all oh, know. No, oh no, I, I don't want I don't need to go to jail, man. I was just trying to feed my people. Like, come on, fam. Like, bro, for real. And me personally, man, this is just who I am. I can't laugh or make jokes about a person getting sentenced to nine years in prison for a weed pen. Like, I ain't cut like that. I ain't cut to make jokes about a person getting nine years, getting sentenced to nine years in prison for a weed pen. And I, I ain't never smoked a day in my life. Not, not at all. But I can still sympathize with Brittany, with Brittany Griner in this situation. I really can, man, for real. But nonetheless, man, Joe Biden trying to crack down, you know, on making the people who got the PPP loan uh, accountable, holding them accountable for their actions. And, um... You know, it's it's. I think it's a. I think it's a serious thing. Do I think they're gonna get everybody? Excuse me. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't think it's a way to get everybody, but I do think they're gonna get a nice amount of people. Cause I know people that got it two times, twice. You know, so I think it's gonna. It, it is a real thing. And um, you know, again, I feel bad for the folks that really, really. At first, I feel bad for the bus the black businesses who didn't get it. Feel bad for the businesses who that went down the drain because they couldn't, they weren't able to get relief because it was people that was trying to stunt and they got the funds. I feel bad for people who got the PPP loan who did it fraudulently because they just wanted to maintain it and keep a roof over their head and protect their babies from figuring out, oh my God, mom don't have no money, dad don't have no money. What's gonna happen to us? Right? I feel bad for those people. But I don't feel bad for the people who was just out here trying to buy Lamborghinis, trying to buy Rolls Royces and stuff like that, trying to just stunt in every way possible and putting up putting up captions where they talking about some y'all can work off y'all, y'all can work if y'all want to. I'm out here on big boy shit. I saw people posting like that. People I went to school with and shit like crazy. People I know that ain't really got no job for real. That was out here just trying to stunt. I'm like, come on, man. Like for real. This is what we on. You know, but yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole si this whole situation. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm out. Peace.